for your family's comfort. Brought to you by Green Plumbing and Modern Heating. Hi, welcome to For Your Family's Comfort, brought to you by Greens Plumbing and Modern Heating. Um, we're going to talk about gas water heaters um, today and the components in a gas water heater. That's right. One thing that all water heaters have in common, and we talked about it on our last show when we were talking about electric water heaters, and they all still have a relief valve like this. The same thing is for protection of, of creating too much pressure in your water heater so that it, your plumbing system doesn't blow apart. Right. And, yep. the, you know, an electric water heater at elements and thermostat, but a gas water heater has, well, the old style had a gas valve with a standing pilot with a thermocouple, right? That's right. Um, the gas control here, um, if you look at it here, it has on and off, and you can adjust it for different temperatures um, from very hot to not so hot. So this is not only your safety valve, it's your gas valve. It controls everything. Um, if Kathy turns it a little bit, you oh, can see sure. that this part, this screws into the, the water heater and this part is actually inserted into the water so it's sensing the water temperature. Oh, so this is what tells it to come on and That's off? That's right, yep. Okay. And, and then, so this is a basic gas control that you have on your old gas water heater. You know, when you talk about setting your um, water, on these it says low, medium, hot. What temperature do you like your water at? Well, if you're going to measure it, you, you want to have it, um, like if we do a home care study where there's a home, uh, a child yeah. care, yep. then the, it can be a maximum of 120 degrees. Okay. But a lot of people like their water heater 125 or 130, but, the setting. But for if it's mandated, it has to be 120 or less, right? That's right. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so then the new stuff. Yep, and this is the, the burner and the gas control for a newer style uh, gas water heater. You can see that there's wires on here, there's more gadgets around the pilot assembly here, and um, it has an electronic control. So instead of turning the valve like we do on here to change the temperature, we just have up and down buttons for hotter and colder. So when you say electronic, are they going to hear that snap, snap, snap when it lights? Or? Um, probably won't hear it because it's very well concealed and, and enclosed in the bottom of the water okay. heater. But it will do that. So where right. is the electronic ignition part of this? The electronic ignition is right down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it calls for lights? And yep. if they would look in the door, they're going to see all this lit, yep. right? Yep, there's a little window here. If you open up the door and look in this window, when the water heater is heating, you'll see a nice blue flame around this burner here. Okay. That's right. And again, um, a repair to a gas water heater is going to be more costly than a repair to an electric one. More than Gen likely, more depending than likely. on the age of the water heater okay. and, and again, what the, what the issue is. And a gas water heater is generally 40 gallons? Most of the time they're 40 gallons because there's more heating capacity with a gas water heater than with an electric one, so they have a quicker recovery so you don't need as much storage. And again, the gas water heaters are going to be larger the than the old, old water heaters right. because of the government mandates, more insulation, et cetera, right. et cetera. And there's all kind of venting issues too that can... And, and, uh, that come into play. That's yeah. right, and, and things we have to deal with when we have a gas one that we don't with electric. Yeah. So, if you're having problems with your water heater, come see us at Green's Plumbing and Modern Heating located on Highway 59 North. That's right. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. <laughs>